Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is my 2004 Chevrolet Express 3500 work van. This van has over half a million miles on it now. Um, I replaced the engine uh, about three years ago, two, two years ago. Um, the engine had 400 and I believe 60,000 miles for it was like 450,000 miles on it at the time and it still ran great the only thing is it overheated um, every now and then and it the um, coolant was leaking out so I, I believe it had a blown head gasket but um so this is kind of an update um, now about two years later and uh, the van is still running after the you know after the engine uh after i replace the engine it's running great still um so uh, thanks to engines direct for making a, a really good engine i haven't had any problems out of it it's uh running really well so uh yeah um we're gonna skip over to uh the um replacement of the engine uh, the date code that you see at the top of the screen, it's uh, wrong. It's about two years, one and a half years. It, it, it says 2017. It was actually around 2000 and late 2018 when I uh, put the engine in. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you what the old engine looked like and, um, and uh, what a 450,000 mile original motor looks like taken apart so let's uh go over to that and um yeah see you there this is the start of the engine removal on a 2004 chevrolet express 3500 cargo van and uh just started taking taking some of the bolts and things out haven't done much but I'm gonna get to it here and get this engine pulled out radiator hose pulled out in this radiator here got the 
fan clutch off. Now we're getting this radiator out. So far, we got the front off the van, the radiator and support, and condenser, uh, fan clutch, all that good stuff. It's coming along. Still got a lot more work to do. Yeah. It's got a lot of hard miles on it. Still pretty good running van though. Start taking all this stuff off here. So I can start getting this motor pulled out. <laughs> out of the van and as you can see it's got a lot of sludge <laughs> this motor is toast I mean, it actually still ran pretty good but as you can see it actually has water and there I mean these uh these exhaust valves and stuff, I mean, they're, you can't really see in there, but they're, they're pretty nasty too. The spark plugs, gosh, they were bad. Or on two cylinders, they were horrible. Let's see where, check this out. It's hard to really focus on it. There was another one, I forgot where I put it now, but it was, it was just really bad. These were the original plugs for him. This might be it. Thing's pretty nasty. Look at all that build up. The whole um, porcelain is cracked around the iridium core. I think these are iridium. The Bosch, I mean the AC Delco. The thing is, I just rebuilt the transmission in this van, and when I did it, um, I replaced all the oil pump, the seals, rear main seal on the back of the motor, and the gaskets around it. I should have just replaced the motor at that time. I replaced these seals and oil pressure sender. And a couple other things. I should have just waited. You know, I should have just pulled the whole motor. Save me some time and trouble. But 
Hey, it's out now. Got a new crate motor right here. Look at that. Nice and clean. Put a sock with some rice in it just to keep the moisture out. Because it was starting to get a little, little surface rust on it. So actually it seemed, seemed like it helped pretty good. Look at the difference here from that. Well, to that from this. <laughs> Yep, all I gotta do is take that, shove it in there. <laughs> so, lots of fun. But then, I'll just jump back in. That's okay, I got the, getting the motor put, put back together here. Got the spark plugs in, oil pressure sender here, camshaft position sensor, got the little coolant block offs, got the cover here with new knock sensors inside. And right now I'm working on getting these uh, uh, valve covers on. where we're at right now I'm gonna get a couple more things done tonight and I'm gonna wrap it up here's okay I got the engine on the hoist here and uh getting it getting all um getting some parts swapped out on it such as a harmonic balancer and timing cover etc but um I got this engine remanufactured from engines direct Got it actually on eBay. Paid about two thousand dollars for it. Twenty three hundred. Once I return the core, get three hundred and fifty dollar core charge or something like that. But um, this is how it came, minus the valve covers and the top cover right there. I put put those uh, on it. You can tell they're dirtier. But um. Came with new seals. Uh, it came with a whole master engine seal kit, and um, didn't come with spark plugs. Got those. This is up under the engine. This is a. Uh, well, they, they give you a. I already used a couple of seals, but they give you a. Give you a fairly good bit of, you know, seals and gaskets. But they did a really good job, and it looks like a really good, I don't know if it's a paint or a ceramic type coating they use, like on these heads here, 
me, you can tell they're probably either coated with some kind of some kind of coating. Now this surface rust, that's just because it's been sitting in the garage here. It didn't come like that. It was actually very clean when I got it. Okay, with the new oil pump. This is a six liter LQ4. It's got the cathedral intakes. Uh, put it in there. Later, guys. Okay guys, got the new motor sitting here. Starting to get the intake and all that stuff put on it. And here we are so far. All the old uh, exhaust studs on the old motor were all broken off. Got some good grade 8 uh, performance bolts in there. New gaskets, all that good stuff. So now I'm going to start working on putting the injectors in, throttle linkages, coils, um, get the transmission torque converter bolted up. I got the flywheel on the transmission bolted onto the motor, but that's going to put the bolts in the torque converter. Um, so that's, that's what I got so far. Get some more done and I'll be back. Starting to get the water pump. I got it on. Intake manifold, injectors, coils, spark plug, wires, all that good stuff. <clears throat> That's what I got on here so far. Here's the inside. 
retake the wire wiring harness. So now uh, got a few more things to go, but getting it all buttoned up. Hopefully it runs good. put back together and um, let's see if she runs got all the intake and everything put back on got the interior put back together here let's crank her up and see if she runs hopefully she does Looky there. Take it out for a test drive and uh, see how it works. 